Rahimin. I'm a film producer based in Jakarta, Indonesia. I started working in the film industry, I think 20 years ago, actually. Uh, I started as a film publicist. Uh, and then the film that I managed became the highest gross film for and held the, its record for six years. And it catapulted many young actors and actresses into household names. Ever since that, I have been working also as a line producer and then as a producer. I established my own production company, Tanahir Films, in 2013. And ever since that, I have produced fiction films, uh, documentaries, and shorts. Uh, the situation in Indonesia is actually, we produce a lot of commercial films because we have a lot of financial support for commercial films from, from private investors and venture capitals. But it's not very easy to make uh, an art film uh, or a co-production co film in Indonesia because Indonesia doesn't have any film grant or any film fund. And that's what motivated me to apply to Produir All Suit at first because when I applied, Crocodile Tears, the project that I'm applying with, was the first project I'm handling that is an art film. So I've been producing commercial films, but I really don't know the landscape and the structure and the system of an art house film or, 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 or film that I have to do with a co-production with, co with other countries. So that's why I'm applying to Prodwir of Sud because when I read uh, about the workshop, I found out that it's a good workshop for you as a emerging producer to learn about these things. So that's why I'm applying with the project Crocodile Tears. That's great, Mandy. Thanks. Really full and really, I learned things, even though I know you already. <laughs> um, and maybe now, Tumpal, there is something for you to say in this, because Mandy brought up um, Crocodile Tears. So I'd like to know who you are, what you do, um, which connects you to Mandy. Okay. Hi, my name is Tumpal Tampu Bolon. I'm a writer and director from Indonesia. I'm based in Jakarta, the capital city. I've been working in the industry, Indonesian film industry for 10 years, mainly as a screenwriter. I study mathematics and I have a bachelor's degree in science. And I don't know why I'm in this world of filmmaking, although I really enjoy it. It brings a lot of, uh, a lot of joy for me. And uh, so Crocodile Tears is going to be my debut as a feature film director. I made short film, uh, five short films, and it's, it's doing okay. And, and from that, I, I, I could work in the film industry as a screenwriter. Uh, but I always think that I want to direct a feature film. So the way I met Mandy, the producer of Crocodile Tears is, uh, we are colleagues, but we never worked before. So I think around 2017, I had the idea of Crocodile Tears, but I don't have any producer. <laughs> Although I know uh, some of my colleagues are producer, but like, Mandy mentioned, a lot of them are working in a commercial uh, commercial field. So there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm always interested in what they call art cinema or art house film. But uh, it's very mysterious for me, like how those films got made. And I usually read the credit title and there's they have this logo, so many logos of labs and funding and I was wondering uh, what is that thing like how can I know that thing how can I join it uh, and uh, Produra Sud is one of the first uh, filmmaking lab that we attend 
which one of you first applied to Produire au Sud and or was it both together and how did you hear about it? Uh, I did the application for, for Produire au Sud. I first heard about it from CFIC because CFIC is, CFIC is also working with Produire au Sud for the producers uh, workshop. So when I attended the first CFIC uh, session, uh, I was introduced to several producers from Produire au Sud and that's how I know about the workshop. And then Raymond Patanavirangun, the uh, head of CFIC, emailed me and saying that Produire au Sud is opening its application and he is encouraging me to apply. So that's why I applied with Crocodile Tears. Tumpal mentioned that he had not previously um, directed um, and you had, you had quite a strong track record and so um, it was uh, I'm interested in you know what made you pick up this project specifically. Uh, well late 2017 Tumpal called me out of the blue. I mean we know each other for years we've known each other for years and I'm always a fan of his work uh, I know he's a very talented writer and director. So he called me out of the blue saying that I have a script and I want to apply to CFIC. And the deadline is in 10 days. Can you be my producer? So I said, okay, well, uh, send me the script first. I want to read before I decide. So I received the script. I read it within one day and I instantly fell in love with the script. So I told Tumpal, okay, let's do it. So within 10 days, we have to find first a translator to translate the script in English. And I have to beg my friend to do it for seven days <laughs> because usually they need two weeks to translate. So my friend finally is willing to do it within one week. And then we did all the application together within in the last three days before the application closes. And then we got accepted at CFIC and then the rest is history. I mean, we've been... We've been working on this project together since 2018. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And so you went to CFIC and then um, Produire au Sud. Okay. In the application for Produire au Sud, was there anything that um, already had to change in the project? Did you have to produce uh, additional materials or develop the script further or anything in order to apply? Mm, not that not that I remember. No, I think I applied with what we have because during CFIC, we were also being taught how to create a dossier. So I have everything ready. So when we applied to Produit or Sud, I already have everything. And we just send the latest script that uh, we have revised from CFIC. I understand. Um, and so you went to Produire au Sud in Nantes in 2018, where I had the pleasure of meeting you. <laughs> um, so let's talk a little bit about that experience, how it was for each of you. Um, can you each um, tell me what it was you hoped to gain from got attending, first of all? Before you went, like what were your expectations and your hopes? For me, uh, when I read the the information in the website of Produire Sud, well, I, what I expect is that we could meet partners or learn something about funding. There, I know it's still early in the. We are still really early in the stage of developing the script, so. I don't know if people will give us money <laughs> because there's no price in Produire au Sud. So that my expectation is just to meet other producer and or other professional in the film industry uh, and learn what they think about the script. Uh, because I also curious, I mean, how how people perceive the story. I mean, because the the crocodile tears have some domestic element, I could say that, like based on Indonesian culture. I don't know if it will translate well into other people, other culture. And so 
basically I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, what people will see in this in this story in this project? Uh, are they interested? Or what are the feedback? That's I understand. All. Yeah, you, so you were primarily concerned about the script in your project and how it might be received and perceived in an international context. Yes. yes? And you, Mandy? Well, I applied to Prodwir all suit because during the civic lab, I gained little uh, some knowledge about producing for art house cinema, but I think I need more. I know I need more because in civic the time frame is very short, and then it is more uh, about script development, so it's not about producing. That's why I applied to Prodwir all suit in hope that I will get knowledge and uh, input on how to move this project forward. And I expected it to be like a, a really good course for me as a producer and then to help me determine whether my plans for the film is right or not. And actually what I received is exactly what I hoped for and a bit more because during the workshop, we have we have uh, had the pleasure of meeting several people from sales agents from other producers from distributors that gives me input that gives us input on the project and gives us input not only on the story of the project but also on my plan of the project so after we all suit i gain confidence knowing that i think i can do this i think i know what is what will be my next steps and of course, the cherry on top is during Prodwir Osud, because of Prodwir Osud, we found our French co-producer. So the experience was very good for me. So tell me about your French producer. And, um, and although I'm aware um, that you're co-producing with Claire, I'm not aware of how that came about and of... Um, and of what um, informed your decision to set it up as a co-production with France? Being, being it a project from Indonesia, we don't have many options actually for international funding because Indonesia is one country that doesn't have a bilateral uh, agreement with any country for film funding. So we, we, our options are very, very limited. And one of the good options is CNC, of course. So knowing that, I know from the first time I do this project that I need a co-producer from France. And that is also why we apply to Prodwir All Suit because I think, okay, maybe we can meet some French uh, producer who might be interested in the project. So when Claire said she's interested, I'm so happy with the news, not just because um, not just because we know we need a French co-producer, because I feel so relaxed with Claire. I mean, I have to be honest. Claire is not the first one who offered to be one of our uh, uh, to be our co-producer, but with Claire, I feel so relaxed. I feel like we can be friends. I feel like I can talk to her about anything. And that relationship was built during the workshop in Prodwir Al Sud, because as Tumpal said, it was a, it was very intimate, and we had a lot of time to socialize between each other, and we get to know each other personally. So because I feel so comfortable with Claire, that's why when she emailed me and said that she wanted to be our co-producer, that's why we said yes right away. Because, especially because we know that Claire has co-produced films from Southeast Asia before. So she knows the funding landscape in Southeast Asia. She knows how we work. She knows what kind of expectations she can get from a South, Southeast Asian film. That makes it much more comfortable for us to accept her offer. I understand completely. And so I'm genuinely interested to know whether, because you guys have participated in other workshops, CFIC and any others or not? Aside from Prodwir Osud, uh, we also attended La Fabrique in Cannes in 2019 and Torino Film Feature Lab, Torino Film Lab Feature Lab. 
So I'm wondering how, about the other labs and about how they compared. Uh, well, all workshops, I think, have their own uh, significance to our project. Uh, but I think in terms of intimacy, Prodwir Osud is still the one to be because like even with this with, even with the other participants we feel like a big family and i think everyone else also feel that that we clicked right away and then the way the program structured with all the free time but also the intense workshop that we managed to become very good friends within a very short time i agree with mandy in terms of intimacy is and because again, uh, it's also a relatively small city. So, I mean, just the environment and everything. I remember all of us, I mean, all the participants, we usually go together to visit some places. I remember we take this very trip to a, another part of the city and we just hang out and walk around and it's, it's, it's nothing that I experience in other lab. I don't know why, I mean, because the, maybe the scale, especially La Fabrique in Cannes Film Festival, I mean like, <laughs> so, yeah, and all the grandeur, all the important people, and it's like, you felt like you were small, like, okay, maybe, maybe they are very busy, they, <laughs> they need to attend things, but in in Produa Sud, I felt that people really have time to talk with each other, get to know each other, and very, very, very helpful. And I also, for the first time, learned about pitching. I think from the mentor name is Stefano, Stefan, Stefano, how to mention it, how to call him name, uh, and which is also important for me because pitching is one of my Achilles heel. I mean, it's very difficult for me to speak with, I mean, a lot of people in front of people. I can handle one-on-one -on -one pitching conversation, but when, the, when it comes to pitching to so many people, oh, it's very difficult for me. And it, in a way, it prepares me for the Torino, Torino Film Lab because one of the highlights of Tony Film Labs is also pitching in front of like 200 people, like, oh my God. But because of Prodria Sud, uh, I felt that I've been here before. Right? I'm interested in your response to that. Um, I think linked to that is a question about um, the order in which you did things and wh whether perhaps when you're talking about, you know, you had the same people, but at, um, in which order the workshops came and whether that was important. I mean, first first workshop we attended was CFIG, and then we attended Prodwir Osud, and then La Fabrique in Cannes, and then Torino Feature Lab. And I think, I think I feel lucky that I went through those steps instead of the other way around, because during CFIG we really went intense into the script, and during Prodwir Osud I get mentorship firsthand about producing an art film. And that's really helpful for me to uh, create my next steps. In La Fabrique, it's more advanced actually. So they have already expected me to understand these things. So I was very lucky that I got into Produir also first before La Fabrique, because then I get to really reap my uh, experience in La Fabrique at the maximum that I can get. Uh, and then during Torino Feature Lab, of course, it's one, it once again go into story and it didn't touch any field of producing at all. So I think we're kind of lucky that way. And uh, what I can say is how each workshop is different because in Prodwir Osud, if I compare Prodwir Osud and La Fabrique, for instance, in Prodwir Osud, they go 
directly into your project. So they teach you the basic things, but then they go with you into your project and really help you shape the plan for your project. While in La Fabrique, they intensively give you information. They give us a lot of information about what fundings are available and what, what are their requirements, what is the do's and don'ts, what are the other labs, what are the festivals that you need for your uh, premiere. So it was very intensive, but without knowledge of what will be my next steps, I think I will be lost in La Fabrique. I will not be able to understand and pick up information, the ones that would be beneficial for the project and which ones that I think, okay, maybe this one, I, I just need to keep it first and not really following it up, you know? So very clear. Did you want to say something, Trumpal? Yes. Uh, in terms of writing and directing, uh, I also feel very lucky that we gone through the process with with that order like first we go to civic because uh, the script is not strong enough I, I i i know that so we spend almost a year to to come with a script that well presentable let's say like that so in produce suit uh, actually yes the producer have a lot to learn uh, in this workshop. Uh, uh, for screenplay and directing, well, I'm, I'm not saying that I don't learn anything, but it is, I think it's, uh, producer suit is mainly focused on the production side of the, of the project. Uh, when we go to La Fabrique, I felt that La Fabrique is, is a workshop, but semi project market actually. So, it's, it's quite overwhelming if you don't experience with, before like people come to you and meet and they seem very busy like five you have five minutes 15 minutes to explain your 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 project in english <laughs> which is very strange and very i mean it's very hard for me but uh, then we go to torino uh, feature lab so it's not a script lab anymore. It's just, we, we talk about the script, but it's more like, so how will you direct this film? Huh? What the, the style and everything. Uh, so throughout the process, I, I switched from my screenwriter hat to the director hat. So uh, I experienced both of, yeah, I, I got, I remember that, okay, I need to direct this film, not just writing it. So. It's also prepare me to do to write treatments to talk to in in Torino Film Lab. You also met uh, cinematographer uh, and visual effect people. I mean, it's really like uh, you are breathing. I mean, you're telling your vision to other people, so it's very helpful. Uh, I, I'm really I'm, I feel very lucky that we gone through. The, this exact order of the per, of the development. Yes, it certainly sounds like it was it was almost made for you. You know, like <laughs> from the from the work on the script through to how to package your projects through to meeting financiers and then and then a shift of focus to production. That's amazing. Um, to what degree do you think that? Um, these workshops are in, important in terms of um, putting a label on your project? I think it's very, very important. That's one of the things that was being taught to me uh, during CFIC, during the Prodwit Osud session in CFIC, because each lab and each project market is like a stamp of approval for the project. So the more we can gather the ones with prestige, the more we can get visibility of the project. And also, of course, uh, because through that, we learn a lot and we build our network. And through each lab, through each project market, we meet the same people because, of course, 
of course, usually you don't get people to sign with you on your first meeting. You have to meet them again and again and again, you know, and having been through all these labs and meeting them for several times, I think it builds rapport for your project. So come talking about the project, where are you at with it now? We are currently in fundraising stage. So we have received funds from CNC, but we still need more. So we are talking to uh, several uh, domestic financiers to help finance the film. And we are also looking forward to apply to several other funds. Does having an international partner and the CNC funding help trigger more local funding for you? Yes, absolutely. It gives assurance that because we already have some confirmed funding that the project will move forward. So it really helps. Right. Okay, so now um, thinking about um, the things that were challenging about Produire au Sud. I said challenging because I know people don't like to be critical, but what are some of the things that were difficult for you about Produire au Sud that perhaps might be able to be improved or that you would have liked more of or less of? I think for me, for me, I would like to have more one on one meetings with as many people with as different backgrounds as possible, because that's what is really impactful for me during the workshop, the one on one meetings, maybe more time and more people would be more beneficial for the project, especially if the producer is like me, who is still trying to figure out the next steps having inputs, although different inputs from different people, but that makes you think and makes you formulate the best plan for your project. What about you, Tumpal? What are some, were there aspects that you found difficult or confronting? You mentioned before that you felt that um, Produir au Sud was particularly beneficial for producers. Did yeah. you, was, were there things that were, missing for you that you would have liked more of as a director and writer? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we talk about script in Produ Asud, but not very truly. I mean, our mentor is not, it's not that something wrong, the mentor is just maybe the allocated time, like, because it's like five project, right? Many. Uh, six. six six project and yeah if we go through it one-on-one -on -one, it might take take a while but that's the thing that i think everyone who came as a writer director looking forward for that one-on-one -on -one session we have a one-on-one one-on-one -on -one session and, and it was two mentor right i don't know if it, it's a good idea maybe instead of two mentors looking for i mean looking for the same project maybe split the mentors so each mentor can handle just three projects i think it's manageable uh, because we have like a week maybe to to talk about everything uh, i think that's it i mean just maybe more it's similar to with Mandy, more time spent on one-on-one -on -one session, talking about scripts and also directing. That's helpful. That's really helpful. And, um, you know, there are others, other directors who have mentioned that they would have benefited from more in-depth work on, without it being, um, without replicating what other script labs do, but just, you know, so not turning it into a script lab, but at least giving a bit more in-depth feedback on it. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we're on to the juicy last question. Just coming up with um, uh, a word that characterizes Produit au Sud for you and why. Family. And why? Why family? Uh, because the time we spent there, I mean, I'm really serious. I mean, we still contact with, with each other uh, 
between the participant uh, of produce suit uh, to this day through Facebook and everything. And I felt that what we have during the worship is a real connection. I'm really, really, I remember them, especially during this pandemic. I mean, I, I wish I spent more time, I mean, instead of sleeping in my room or, <laughs> or, or I should talk more instead of just sitting around <laughs> because I'm not good making the small talks, but I really just being there, observing people dancing and uh, we're really close, even though I wish we could talk more, but I felt like we are, it's real, real connection during the producer suit and it still continue to this day. And what about you, Mandy? The word is jacket. Why I think Produir Osud is like a jacket, it's because I find the landscape of filmmaking uh, is actually cold and Produir Osud gives you warmth and gives you confidence to go out into the cold. That is beautiful. Oh. I really want to go back to France, especially go back to Nantes during the Three Continents Festival because even though the weather is cold, you can get warmth everywhere in Nantes.